Hey yo, what is up? Welcome to Ninja Geek Games. In this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Beans and Familiars. This is an expansion to Roleplayer. I believe it's the second one, and I recently received this on Kickstarter. Um, so we're just going to dive straight in and take a look inside. So let's take a look inside. First thing you're greeted with is the rule book, and then the character sheets. There should be four of these, I think. So we have a, um, a Saurian, which is sort of like a dinosaur dragon. Um, Vargar. There are, each of these also have extra tokens as well, so they're coins at the bottom here. Charisma tokens that are used in the um, core game. And I think these are wound tokens. There's some more tokens here. I think these are honor tokens. This is a Shecky, looks like Groot's mate. And a penguin. Uh, Kaikar, I think that's pronounced. That's pretty cool. Um, and these are the familiar boards. I think there's 15 individual ones. So we have sort of like shadow drakes, flame imps, there's a leopard, snakes, owls, and bears. Badger, tortoise, and a raven, a cursed raven. Dark wings, dark words. Uh, a phoenix. Tempest Fox and a Jackalope. Uh, and these here are unique abilities that um, are provided by the familiars. I think each character starts the game with one of these. And these parts down here are used for the end scoring. Oh no, there's another one as well. Uh, a Weasel, Warthog and a Wolf. Excellent. So what else have we got in here then? We have these orangey red dice. These are battle dice that are used when um, taking on minions. These here, these are pretty cool. These are split dice and they represent um, both colours um, regardless of the number when they are on the hero's player board. These are experience point cubes that represent the growth of a character during the game. And for the cards we have the monster cards and the first one here is the Cyclops. And that looks really cool. He looks like he's got an ability called Bloodthirsty. Um, that's a really awesome card. They're quite big as well. Um, and scoring on the back. Excellent. Then we have a variety of other cards. They look like some um, initiative cards here uh, for the Fiends. A small deck of Fiend cards. These look like additional market cards. And initiative cards again and some morphine cards. I'm sure there's some other cards in there too. We'll have a look at those in just a second. So this is just representing the backs and fronts of the uh, decks that you get in the game. At the top here we've got uh, fiend cards and these ones here have various um, titles on them. So you have attack and obstacle with with monsters names on. You've got your Alliance cards there, these are minion cards, these are the market deck, it looks like you've got a new type of um, item in the market deck, that's scrolls, I haven't looked through them all so there might be more. These are the monster cards, so I've just shown the, the Megapede there which is really cool. Um, got additional class cards and some more backstory cards as well and then some bigger cards for the play sequence too. So lots of decks, uh, minions, monsters, extra items, more backstories and all sorts. So. Um, really going to make the game um, more involved, adding more elements to the game as well, so it looks really good. So there you go, lots of content. We have familiars, extra character boards, uh, monsters, attack dice, um, extra market cards, backstories and alignments, and loads and loads more. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.